Hi. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be showing you guys my updated um, natural hair routine on a short TWA, teeny weeny afro if you don't know. And y'all, I'm literally using only one product. One, yeah. One. I mean, hello, can you see? <laughs> can you see how bomb my curls look? This is just using one product. I'm also just gonna be talking from my heart. There's been a lot on my heart and my mind concerning hair and just beauty in general. So we're gonna get into a little uh, chit chatty, uh, natural hair, get ready with me, I don't know. But before we do, I wanna give a huge thank you to our partners today, which is Anna Louisa. All right, girl, it's Black Friday. It's gift giving season and I know, listen, I know you're gonna be spending some money, okay? So I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. They're actually having a BOGO sale, okay? So you can buy one, get one 60% off, which is, we love saving some coin, don't we? Okay, let me go ahead and show you the pieces that I have on, one of them being this fabulous necklace that I have. Now, I don't wear necklaces too, too often, but girl, this one, this is the Elise necklace, and I also have some natural, natural what? I also have some matching earrings that goes with this necklace, and it's gorgeous. I don't have them on right now. I'm actually gonna show you the ones that I do have on from Anna Luisa, and of course, my Anna Luisa bracelets, because who would I be? if I didn't have those on. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that my Anna Luisa bracelets are literally like my favorite thing in the whole entire world. I love, love, love them so much. I literally cannot explain how much I love my daggone Anna Luisa bracelets. I always keep three on this arm, on my left arm, and I keep three on because they're just so dainty and beautiful and Honestly, the more the merrier because they don't take away too much from you. Like they add just the right amount of sparkle and eye catching bling, but they're still so feminine and soft and ugh, I love them so much. I also added this band to my wedding set. Your wedding band does not have to be expensive, girl, okay? Go to Anna Luisa and get you one. Buy one, get one 60% off, how about that? Forgot to show you guys my earrings as well, but I have um, some Anna Luisa drop. I think these are like the drop chain earrings or something like that, I don't know, but I have these in my second hole. I absolutely love these. I do not take them out until I'm ready to switch my second hole with different Anna Luisa pieces that I have, and they're just bomb, okay? I am Anna Luisa laced up, honey. You hear me? I am dripping. So if you're looking to give the perfect gift this holiday season, please make sure you check the links in my description box, and if you use the code LARISSA10, you can receive 20% off of your entire Anna Luisa order. And again, they're running a Black Friday sale where you can buy one, get one 60% off, which is so great. All right, girl, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this hair because in the next frame, you're gonna see how crazy I look. <laughs> I feel like it would be appropriate for me to start this by answering a lot of frequently asked questions that I get. First of all, I'm gonna use some water to spray my hair. My hair is freshly washed and conditioned, but it is completely dry. So I definitely need to Saturate it again with some water. I probably should just stand underneath the sink or like in the shower or something. Water bottles just don't do it for me when it comes to how I really need my hair saturated. The first thing that I wanted to say is that I, and I feel like I've said this before, but I am not into hair typing, okay? I just feel like us as black women have very unique hair, right? And like, this is a bad idea to wear this sweater. I just feel like our curls are not one type of curl pattern, you know what I mean? So someone had the nerve to comment on my last video saying that I lied about what kind of hair type I have, which I, I she also said that I got ran off of Twitter because I lied about what kind of hair type I have. And I was thinking to myself, okay, this is probably a first time viewer, so I don't wanna be 
rude or mean or anything like that but at the same time what kind of sense does that make i've always said that i am not into hair typing and i don't know exactly what kind of hair type i have so if someone chooses to put me in a certain category or put my hair in a certain category it might not be correct you know i try to do the best i can when it comes to guessing what kind of hair type or hair texture i have but honestly you guys none of that matters to me i truly and honestly believe that all hair types are beautiful and that's because we are all made in the image and the likeness of god he created us uniquely right like no one person in this world is the same so therefore I believe that whatever hair type or whatever hair texture or whatever good hair that the Lord has given you is beautiful regardless of if it looks like someone else's. Do you know what I mean? So with that being said, I don't know exactly what kind of hair type I have. I think I'm in between a 3C, 4A, 4B, I don't know. My curls are looser on the sides and in the back and it's a little bit tighter in the crown area so again it's not all one texture so i don't i personally don't like placing my hair in a specific hair typing category a lot of the comments that i read on my hair videos give mean girl energy and i'll be the first person to say i'm not here for it i am not a mean girl and we're not going to bring that energy here to my channel okay that's first and foremost okay let me introduce you to my absolute new favorite gel that i am absolutely obsessed with this is curl days's glossy shine gel with kukui oil i think that's how you pronounce it i did not know curl days created a gel and sold it in target you guys this is either my second or third jar and i cannot get enough of it this is literally the only product that I use in my hair now, the only product. So I don't use a curl cream. All I do is wash and condition my hair. And right now I'm using the Shea Moisture. It's in the, the baby blue bottle. I'll pop up a picture on the screen. I'm using that shampoo and I ran out of the conditioner in that set. So right now I am currently using um, Three Minute Miracle by Aussie Moist. I just do my whole little routine in the shower and I'm out. That's it, like I, it takes me maybe seven minutes to wash and condition my hair and it is probably in the best condition that it's ever been in. And the reason is because, and this is, this is the second thing I wanted to talk about. I feel like washing your hair um, less frequently is more damaging than washing your hair more frequently. So I'm literally just taking the gel, y'all. And putting it all in my hair and like I said I don't use any curl creams or like leave-ins or anything this is it this is all I use I like to go in and just put the gel everywhere first before I comb it through and you can already see how defined my curls are like as soon as I put the product in it's crazy this is some good gel I love natural hair TikTok because the way that they are just willing to share their professional knowledge with the masses, the people, us, it's just so nice to me. So I've there's this one lady I follow. Um, I think she's based in Manchester, New York. She has a super cute accent. I will leave her TikTok in the description box in case you guys want to check her out. But I learned from her that you need to be washing your hair at least once a week which for me is good because she she also said that um, really the more you wash your hair, the better because the only way that your hair gets hydration is through your shampooing and conditioning process. So I'm just taking my brush. This is a Red by Kiss brush. I'm not sure um, exactly what kind, but I'll have it in the description box. My hair a couple of months ago, probably about three or four months ago now at this point, was shedding so bad, y'all. It was horrible. And I honestly thought that it was just the pregnancy, but I thought it was weird because 
when I was pregnant with my first daughter, my hair grew like a weed and it wasn't really shedding like that. So I was like, okay, this is weird. Like, why is my hair shedding this pregnancy and it wasn't shedding last pregnancy, it was just growing. So I started doing some research and basically I came to the conclusion that my hair was shedding because it wasn't properly hydrated. <laughs> and so um, I got some hydrating hair products and typically I wash my hair every three to four days just because for me personally if I don't my scalp gets so sore I don't know I've never figured out why my scalp gets sore but it gets sore now I'm gonna take my rat tail comb and just kind of break the gel through the back I kind of felt like three to four days was too frequent and so I kind of slowed down the washing um, but I didn't really like how, again, that made my scalp feel. It just made me feel dirty and yucky, you know? So as soon as I found out that washing your hair more frequently is actually a good thing versus a bad thing, I started washing it more frequently with my hydrating products and the shedding like stopped and, and it started growing faster. So I big chopped, um... This year in April, at the beginning of April, we're pretty much towards the end of November now. So it's been a little bit over seven months of growth. And I think it looks pretty good if you ask me. So now I just comb the product through my curls. And um, I don't know if I did this in my last curl video or whatever <laughs> but I start on my sides and in the back first another question that I get asked very very frequently is how do I maintain my hair in between washes and how do I sleep on it at night I mean I try to wear silk bonnets or like a silk scarf or something but I don't like anything being on my head okay that's why I hate wigs <laughs> I don't really care for hats. I love my natural hair, yes, and I love being in my all natural element. Um, but a lot of the reason why you will rarely see me wearing wigs or like extensions or anything other than my natural hair is because I hate things being on my head. I cannot stand the feeling. And so I found that for me, in order for me to be consistent with my upkeep is by just simply using a silk pillowcase you guys i'll link which one i use down below in the description box it's from amazon but i will say the quality of your silk makes the biggest difference like oh my god so yes i will link that in the description box for you all i do at night is lay my little head down <laughs> on my silk pillowcase and then i wake up the next day i'll run my hair underneath the shower head to get my hair wet and I'll just fluff it out. Um, the gel that I used the previous day will activate again. And so I try to put enough product in it now, like after I wash my hair, I try to get enough product in it so that I don't have to keep adding product later on unless it's just like on my edges or something. Which is why you'll see me using a lot of gel when it is freshly washed. Now, as far as maintenance go, I don't really have anything to maintain <laughs> because my hair is so short right now. Um, if I have to add a little bit more gel like to the perimeter and the edges of my hair because of um, like the gel leaving my hair from me washing my face or something like that, then I'll do that. But other than that, girl, I just wet it, kind of, you know, run my fingers through it. I might take my edge brush and define some curls again. But other than that, that's it. I actually could use a trim. I, it's not that I could use one, it's that I need one. Ooh, also, I saw someone ask what my plans are for my hair for um, when I go into labor and when I give birth and postpartum and such. I'm gonna give me some braids, y'all. Now, I know y'all don't believe me when I say that, but I really am gonna get some braids. I really want some tribal braids. Um, I am due at the end of February which is why I started growing my sides and my back out when I did so that my hair is long enough 
to get braided when that time comes. So yeah, girl, I'm gonna try to give me some travel braids and I'm very, very excited. Um, I think for the new year, I'm gonna get my hair silked. Like I'm gonna get a silk press just so that my ends can get, can get freshly trimmed before I actually get my braids. When I was postpartum with my first daughter, um, actually right before I gave birth to her, um, I don't know why this is really dumb, but I decided to relax my hair again and then I got sick of my relaxed hair. So I just said, forget it and buzzed it all off and bleached it blonde again. And um, for me, during postpartum, that was just not ideal. Here's something that I've realized. I feel like us as black women tend to think that our natural hair is hard to manage and difficult to manage. And, um, you know, it's hard to upkeep and take care of. But I feel like that's just hair in general. Me personally, I feel that way because of all of the hairstyles that I've had, out of all of the things that I've done to my hair, my natural hair has been the easiest. Now, I'm, I'm I don't know, I kind of feel a little hesitant saying that publicly because my hair has been short since I was a sophomore in high school and I'll be 30 next year. So yeah, short hair is easy to maintain, I won't lie. And then I am sure I'll have some people who say, oh, well, you have good hair or your curls are easy to maintain. No, 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 no. Hair in general is difficult to maintain, which is why I'm always cutting it because I don't like dealing with it. But I will genuinely and honestly say that my natural hair has been the easiest to maintain out of my relaxed hair, out of my blonde buzz cut hair. This has been the easiest and the most enjoyable out of everything. And so just kind of being aware of that going into postpartum and all of that is kind of bringing me comfort. I really have a goal to grow my hair out as long as possible. And um, for me to maintain healthy hair for as long as I can. That's my main goal is to grow my hair out as long as I can get it and maintain the health and the integrity of my hair. And so this time around, I made a vow to myself that I wasn't going to dye it. You know, I'm not going to bleach it. I'm not going to put any kind of chemical or anything really in my hair. And I'm a little bit hesitant to even get it straightened because, I mean, I don't know. I'm just someone who's afraid of heat damage. But the last time I got my hair straightened when it was curly, when I was pregnant with my first daughter, the stylist hooked me up. She did a fantastic job and my curls were actually so much prettier after I washed my hair after I had it straightened. It was crazy. So I might be wrong, but I feel like the better the stylist, the better your hair will maintain the integrity, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I don't know, I'm a rookie here, I don't know what I'm doing. I just know that for me personally, I have to go to a um, good quality hairstylist to do that. Okay, now here's something that I have been wanting to scream from the mountaintops. I totally understand that not everybody understands how products don't make your curls like I get asked all the time if I have a texturizer if I still relax my hair how I get my curls to look the way they do and you see at the beginning of this video how dry and undefined my curls are and that's because there wasn't any product in it however products do not give you curls I'm gonna say that again for the people in the back. Products do not give you curls. They define your natural curl pattern. People still think to this day that I'm lying when I say that this is how my hair grows from my scalp. 
Now you just saw the transformation, how my hair looked in the beginning of this video and how it looks now. I used one product, which was this gel. That's it. You didn't see me use any texturizer. This is just how my hair naturally grows from my scalp, you guys. That's what product is for. Product is to enhance your already there natural curl pattern. Now, things like um, texturizers and like, I, I don't know, like those S curl things, or I don't know. I have never in my life, Jesus as my witness, I have never put a texturizer in my hair. I've never done an S curl or anything. I've relaxed my hair, yes. And you know, that's when my hair is bone straight. No curl pattern in sight. That's what relaxers do, right? But girl, as far as me putting a chemical in my hair to get these curls, it, it doesn't happen. This is just how my hair grows from my scalp naturally. And this is why I'm a huge believer and a huge advocate for just loving yourself for who God made you to be. Your beautiful, authentic, made in the image and the likeness of God self. If I had a different curl pattern, I'd be saying the same thing. Yes, I love my curls. They're beautiful, but I don't love them for how they look. I love them because the Lord gave them to me. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. And I think that a lot of the mean girl energy that we were talking about earlier is rooted in the fact that women are just still so insecure about their natural selves you know like they're scared to be who what and how god created them to be does that make sense oh i did not mean to get deep on y'all but <laughs> i wouldn't be myself if i didn't say that because that's just who i am I know that some of you might look at me and think, oh my gosh, she's so confident. She's so beautiful, whatever it is. But I want to be the first to let you know that it took me a long, 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 long time to get to this place in my confidence and in my beauty in my femininity whatever because for a long time <laughs> I was really insecure about who God naturally made me to be I mean I never really thought of myself as ugly but my self-esteem was just low and really the moment that I looked in the mirror and really accepted the fact that I am made in the image and the likeness of God and that he made me fearfully and beautifully and wonderfully, that's when everything clicked for me. Society has set these unrealistic standards of what beauty is. And even though I don't really live up to those standards, I don't have light skin, I have brown skin. I don't have long hair, but I love, love my short hair. I don't wear wigs, I don't wear weaves. Most of the time, I like to um, dress conservatively and cover myself up and I'm comfortable wearing my natural hair. I'm comfortable not putting on makeup, but that's because I know that my confidence and my self-esteem is now rooted in something that isn't artificial. And I want the same for you. <laughs> I really do, which is the whole reason why I started my channel in the first place. And this is what I mean when I say that true beauty is felt, it is not seen. So if that is something that you believe in as well, or you know, if you're on some type of journey that kind of reflects that, Come on in, girl, okay? There is room at the table for you. Oh my God, I don't know how this video got so deep. This is, I guess this is just where the Lord led me. <laughs> this is what he wanted me to say. So next year and really going forward, my goal is to focus on sharing and inspiring and provoking that feeling of true beauty not the beauty that society says is beauty but true beauty 
that comes from the inside first. So I invite you on this journey with me. If you liked what you heard here or like what you saw here today, please consider subscribing to the channel because that is truly my goal for 2023 and beyond is to really focus on that and inspiring you to do the same. So that is my hair girl, that is what I do. That's my process. Sometimes I actually use a diffuser to dry my hair, especially now that it's cold outside. I don't I don't like the feeling of going outside when it's like super duper cold and my hair is still wet. And I know a lot of y'all be thinking that you can get colds and get sick that way, but you can't, that's a myth. So these are the results of the Curl Days gel. See my hair is like, moving and it's bouncy and it's shiny and my curls are defined this gel is the bomb you guys so i'm gonna have a link in the description box you can get it from target it is a little high up there in price is 13 dollars, but it is so worth it all three of us in our house use this gel because it is so bomb also make sure you check the description box for all of my anna louisa links again if you use the code larissa 10 you can receive 20 percent off of your entire anna louisa order and make sure that you check out their black friday deals okay because they be having some bomb deals going on all right i love you guys and i will talk to you in my next video Mwah. bye